Okay, you guys excuse me for just a moment. This is a IDUN, I think it's called by a company called Canera. A bunch of people on my channel asked about the H3 about a year ago, and I reached out to this company directly on Facebook, and I said, I have a YouTube, I showed my YouTube, and I said, I'm interested. At that time, I think I had like 2,000 subscribers. I've got about 7,000 now, pretty close. And uh, that's not enough for some companies, but they said, oh, yeah, it looks good, everything's fine. Uh, what's your mailing address? What's your telephone number? We'll go ahead and send something out. Now, you don't ask for private information unless you've decided that things are okay. I've done this enough to know that m companies don't, they don't cross that line until they're sure because that's common sense. This company, they did take my private information and they never followed up. And I checked the Facebook Messenger and it just, the last mail from them was I think a year ago, December uh, 2017. And uh, my, I said, great, because they said, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let, give you the tracking number or something like that. And uh, nothing ever happened. You got my fucking mail address. You got my fucking phone number. And it's not your fucking business if you're not going to do anything with it. That's bullshit. Fuck you. And I said that to you. And here's another thing for you, Canera. Fuck you. I just checked on the internet. Headphonia has one comment. You did send it to them and you got one fucking comment. You did send it to Headphonics and you've got six comments. I'm going to show you and tell you something, Canera. I can get ten times that amount of fucking comments in a day. In a fucking day. Do comments equal sales? No, but they are a prelude to a possible sale. It is further inquiry into the item with an answer given to a question asked and then the trigger is fucking pulled and the sale is made. Comments have great value. People are talking to somebody with your item in their hand and can answer their fucking questions. This is two major sites. They're fucking relics. They have seven comments combined. I'm going to do much more than that. Is this going to sound good? I fucking hope so, because if it isn't, I'm going to take fucking unusually great pleasure in bashing it. And if it sounds great, it's going to get praised, because I already told everybody this is about credibility, and it's the, the, most, the most telling fucking moments is when somebody can get past bullshit like this and say, I wrecked this item. I fucking hate the company, but I, I wrecked the item. That is the hardest to do as a reviewer and if i have to do that with this one i'm going to do it and feel great fucking pride because i've explained to everybody why i don't like the company you fucking assholes seven comments seven possible inquiries into your item and i get fucking blown off you watch as the comments come in and dwarf the number seven as of right now you fucks. Whew. Okay. How you guys doing? It's afternoon from Japan. Um, this will be the second video. Last of the day. I've got other stuff though. Box is interesting, isn't it? See how I'm switching gears right there into pro mode. Professional mode has been switched on. I like the box. I think it's cool. It's different from other stuff. On the back, we've got a single dynamic driver and two balanced armatures. It, it's a nice box. Is it not? It is. Go ahead and take the top off. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just was talking about Canera on Facebook. Thought we fucking turn that over. User manual. All of this stuff seems quite nice. I can't read a red line on a gray background. 
Mm, looks like a teeny dip around 500. Otherwise, it looks like a good frequency response. There we go. Very simple. A lot more companies are doing this. Not sure why. Okay. Now I'm going to take that night. I'm going to put that up there. They sure as fuck look sexy, don't they? So one dynamic two VAs. Hold on just a second. Take this out. Let me go back into focus. We've got a set of a certain type of tips. And we've got a set of a certain type of different tips. I've got to assume that. Now let's look at what's important here. The cable. Three point five termination. This is this is that sexiness thing. Now see this is so sexy it's stealing my focus. Okay, we'll just go from here. Strain your eyes, please. It is very similar to a lot of the ones that I've gotten recently, and that is a good thing because I like those cables. It This seems fairly badass. It's got a Y split made of... It's cool to the touch. This might be like a light... Like an aluminum, maybe? Actually, it's not plastic. It's cold. As is this... So these are both made out of, it feels like a graphite or an aluminum. The connection type is, looks like MMCX. And it's two pin. Yay, totally blew that. Let's get a look in there. I can see the dynamic, the back of it right there. I can see the balanced armature there. And I can see tubing. So it looks like we've got, don't mind the background right there. We've got two nozzles or When I watch this video, I'll get a better view. Sometimes it's hard to look through a camera. I love the color, man. Looks very nice. That looks like three right there, doesn't it? Oh, looks like two, too. Eh. Or a one big one and another one. Looking down on the driver, I can see the the plate that goes over the top of it and it looks like there's the tube that runs from the dynamic driver to the nozzle and uh, the balanced armatures here and they are running through tubes also I can see the tubes there to the nozzle we've got this nice psychedelic this is new for me. I actually don't have any sets that look quite like this. I'm going to go ahead and put... tips on it. And then give it a quick listen. Hold on. Ah, well, fuck. They sound good. Uh, one thing I would notice, they sound like they're lacking a little sub-bass to me in this track. Wonder why they call you bitch. If that... Seems like some kind of illusion to the company I was just talking about. Yeah. You're thinking too much. Or you nailed it. Um, anyway, the sub-bass seems, compared to the OS V3, to be lacking slightly. Um, the mids and trebles sound fine so far. The treble particularly sounds really good. 
Um, this will be something to compare with the others, and I will do a full review uh, in the future. They don't suck. Um, I, I'd be bashing them right now if they did. They don't. Uh, I think they've got good points and bad points. The first thing that's jumping out of me, wonder why they call you bitch, um, would be the, the sub-bass. There's a bass hit that I'm not quite catching. Um, so it sounds like the bass is a little towards the mids, but not really in the sub-bass. So depends on what you like. If you like mid-bass or later bass, this might be something that you would appeal. If you like something more sub-bass focused, then you might be looking at something like this. Of course, in a review, I'll give much more examples, and I'll try some different tips. That's first impressions. They're not bad. I'd be trashing them if they were, and I wouldn't apologize to anybody. They, they sound good. They look beautiful. The cable's fantastic. Everything's good to go. Sub-bass seems... Um, could be the tips. We'll dive into that at a later time. And that's it. 10 minutes. We're out of here.